Um, the back. We need to do something beefy for the back. Hopefully we can find something. It's not too big, but is oh, but it does cage it a bit. Oh, this is almost perfect. How'd that look? That's pretty good. That gives us a bit of cushion area. We can push it in a bit. I think I've just found exactly what I want, almost on the first go. Sweet. Um, do we want the heater though? Is that was would that be better? What do you think? Oh, I think we're gonna have to look at the weights to decide this. Um, I'll go for the heater if it's half of the bed. Two hundred, one fifty. So the bed's lighter on its own. All right, bet it is. It's already pretty he pretty heavy though for what it is, but you know that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything better we can pick. I'll just do. Oh, there's a another bed here. Oh, how heavy is this? Thirty-five. It's tons lighter. I bet it's gonna be. Oh, um. We've got some kind of spikes on the back as well. Is it the same width? It's a bit thinner, I think, which is actually probably better. Alright, well, yeah, I'm going to go with that then. Uh, remover. Uh, where is it? There. Hovering over it a million times. There we go. Um, how about I paint this as well? Colour. Should be defaulted to, yeah, same colour as before. Okay. Uh, well, I need to no cly this as well. There we go. Don't want it to be rubbing on the wheels. I want to have it about there, I think. That is pretty good. We can, so we can kind of spike some zombies on the back as well. If we were reversing really quickly. Um, and they'll fall off as we drive off. Okay, that's great. Well, them on. It's not too heavy. It's a lot lighter than that on the bed that we're going to do. So that's perfect. Okay. Okay, so my car is almost done, I think. Um, what we need now is a little bit of attack. You know, a car is great for defense, but, you know, if we if we come up across, you know, a fair few zombies in front of us, you know, we can't, we're not just going to be able to barge through them. We need some something to take them down. We have the all-wheel drive to go through the mush. But we need to we need something to gun them down, quite literally. So I'm going to come over here for no reason at all. But I'm going to do that anyways. And um I'm going to put some guns on the front. Lift that up a bit. Um Okay, I will have to remember to unfreeze both of them. But that's fine. Okay. So I have a turret mod, which basically just puts SMGs on the front. Uh so and I'm going to do just that. Now I can customize these a bit. Turret key is 1. That's perfect. I, I did change that. It's I think usually it's 9, but 1's perfect for me because it's nice and easy to hit. Actually, I think right-click would be better, wouldn't it? All right, let's 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 do that. Right-click. That's that's way better because that will be easy to hit. Okay, airboat heavy sound. Oh, I guess that's fine. AR2 tracer, I guess that's fine. Bullets per shot. Um, we're going to assume that this is a bit of a minigun type thing, and we're going to have 3. So this is shooting really quick. Damage, uh, we're going to have damage as standard because I think that's fair. Bullet spread, uh, we want them to keep fairly... Actually, no, we, we do want to have a bit of bullet spread, not too much, but a bit because, you know, we're not always going to be able to aim directly at them. Bullet force, you know, we want a fair bit and that's that's good, okay. I'm going to pop these on the front. Now I need to hit, hit these on directly on so they shoot straight. That is a little bit not straight. Uh, what have we got? What if we aim here. It's going to be aiming down a bit. That might be okay though. Uh, we'll have that. Uh, try and get them on the same. That's pretty good. And how about we have one more up here. That one aims up a bit more. Which, you know, we'll see how, how bad that is. We can always change it. Okay, so I need to undo that and undo that. Okay, so these, yeah, these are aiming down a fair bit. I think they, we might have to take redo that, but we'll see. Oops. Uh, I 
Actually, they're pretty good because if we have some some stuff like shoot like right up here, you know, we want their legs to get chopped off, and that's that's going to happen with these. And you know, if we're going up a up a ramp or something, you know, we've got a nice bit of spread here. It's perfect, I think. I'm actually really happy with that. Okay, well, that is my car pretty much done. Oh, like final revisions. I don't think I see anything that really needs fixing. You know. Assuming that it drives okay, you know, if it doesn't drive okay, we may have to uh, reconsider, you know, changing some stuff. But I think it's, I think it's all good. I think we may have our car here, guys. Okay, well, I'm going to save this just in case. Uh, duplicator. Right-click to copy. I still need to read these things. Whoops. <laughs> that is the issue with this: is that uh, right-click will shoot my guns. But luckily, we're done building. Uh, save that. Uh, we want to. Oops, dupes, that's the one we were after. Save dupe. Um, that's perfect, it's done it. Oh man, I'm really happy with this. Is the, if this actually works, it's the best one I've so, so done so far. Okay, so zombies are kind of drifting off course a little bit, so I will pop some more down before I do my test run. But I think we're pretty, pretty much good to go. Now, where's my go here? Do I have any zombies I need to take care of? Oops. I think we're okay. We don't have any up there that we're just going to directly drop in my head. And, oh, we do have one there. Goodbye. Go to hell. Wow, this one's, this one's not having a bar of it. Okay, that's, that's enough from the front. Okay, so I have my zombie apocalypse car ready to go. This thing looks sweet, doesn't it, guys? Oh, man. I'm happy with this. I think it looks badass. I don't know what this red light is around it, but it looks cool. I'm, yeah, I th I'm happy with this car. So I think it, in a zombie apocalypse car, I'll be more than happy to have a car like this. You know, this is this is not something that's going to be tanking stuff, you know. You know, we're, not, we're going to be wanting to not be sticking around. But that's the point of it. This is a fast car with uh, fairly light armor, but, you know, it's... It will withhold most attacks that we get with with zombies, assuming that we're not sticking around for too long. If you guys do want to see me build like a, a heavyweight one, uh, let me know. I will, I will do that. You know, I'll build a heavily armored vehicle. You know, I'll, I'll base it off a Hummer or something. You know, I can do that easily. So yeah, let me know. Now, uh, but on back onto this, I'm going to uh, redo my course a little bit, so I'll make sure I've got plenty of zombies around as much as the last car, so it's fair. And then I'm going to use this car as in the race. And I will use my guns in this because I've got my guns and it would be boring to not use them. Okay. Okay, guys, I have my track set. Zombies are all there. Oh, there's probably there's probably a few more than last time, but why not? You know, we want to make this make sure this is a good test. We're going for about 50 seconds. Uh, you guys will know the exact time I'm going for, but not that it's overly important. I'll pop it in there anyways, and you'll see the exact time of this car. Um, can I actually get in? Here we go. I mean, I was a bit worried there, like, after all of that. Um, visibility, I, I'm happy with. You know, at the back, you can't really see anything. You can still see out the mirrors, assuming uh, the mirrors actually worked. Obviously, they don't, they don't in this, but regardless, I'm going to go in three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh, man, this handle's nice. Oh. Okay. Shooting these guys. Oh. Oh, gee, that's loud. Okay. No idea if it's actually killing stuff. It's a bit hard to tell. Oh, gee. Oh, we're going quite well, though. I'm, I'm getting some hits on them. I am seeing some blood splatter. It might be hard to see for you guys. Oh, yeah. We are taking this out. And across the line, 40 seconds. For some reason, the finish line had disappeared, but we'll ignore that. It was about it was about 40 seconds. So yeah, cool, cool. And there is a lot of zombies here. Um, how about we jump back in this? Oh, am I in? Nope. Okay. Uh, oh. That's the best third person I can do, unfortunately. 
how well does this go against with the actual guns? It does it does work, oh gee. Guy right there. You know he's not getting to me though. Yeah, it, it does kill them. It's not doing the best job. I think I may have had to... Probably would have been a better idea to turn the damage up a bit, but... Regardless, you know... These guys these guys are going down with bullets. So, I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Get out of my way. Oh, gee. It's not waterproof though. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed me doing this. I uh, hope you've, I hope you're happy with the final product. If you have more suggestions for stuff that you'd like to see me do in Gary's mod, then let me know. If you'd like to see me do that heavyweight zombie apocalypse car, then sure, I can, I can certainly do that. Uh, and yeah, I think I am, I think I'm completely happy with that. It's faster than the, the other zombie car that I did, which was a bit more of a heavyweight car, but. This still did it perfectly fine. The guns on it work. I could have tuned the damage so it did a bit more damage, but you know, you guys, you guys are sure. I'm sure will be happy that it's successful enough. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. God bless.